Hey everybody, welcome back to Easy Cooking with Gary. Well, we just got back from a cruise last week and we went to Grand Cayman Islands and we went to Cozumel. And Grand Cayman, we went to the beach. And on uh, Cozumel, we walked around, did a little bit of shopping and we went to our favorite hole-in-the-wall place, Ernesto's Fajita Factory. And uh, it's just a little hole-in-the-wall there. And we always like to eat there, and we got chicken fajitas, and they brought us some guacamole and everything. And the guy gave us his recipe there for the guacamole, and it was really fantastic. So today, I'm going to recreate the recipe that he gave me. Now, I've never made it before, so we're going to see how it turns out. So, first of all, i got some avocados. And see how they done turned a little black? So they're, they're soft now. And uh, I bought some a couple days ago, and they were real hard. So let's see how this works. Comes out. I don't know how that comes out. Yep. There it is. It is soft. Okay. Let's see how we do this. I've never did this before. Some of y'all may be able to give me tips. And that come out pretty good there. Put this one here. Oh wow, that come out really good. Okay. Let me do this other one. Do it like this. Wow. Okay, that come out really good. Let me take this out. I've seen pictures on TV where they use that knife to get it down, but it didn't come out for me too good. Okay. So now, let me wash my hands just a minute. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a fork and try mashing this up here. I didn't get to see the way the Mexican made his, but he gave me the recipe. And this is what he told me to do. It's mashing up really good. Okay, 
now let's get I got I, I got a quarter of, of an onion that I've already diced it up I'm gonna put that in there now he said to use one or two tomatoes depending on the size this right here looks like it's a pretty good sized one let's see here Now I got one jalapeno. So let me see here. And I'm going to leave the seeds in ours because we like it hot. thing on jalapenos. Okay. Now I've got he said about three tablespoons of cilantro, so I've just grabbed some fresh cilantro and I'm just going to start dicing it up here real fine. cilantro okay that looks pretty good to me put that over in there okay and he said to take a half of one lime coming out of that one. Go ahead and get some more out of that one. Hmm. Okay. Now, let me stir all this up.
Okay, now, he said add salt and pepper, so I'm going to use my house blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Get some chips. Okay, I'm going to give this a try here now. That is really, really good. Mm. Mm. I got to go in for another bite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that is good. You can taste the cilantro. You can taste the jalapeno. Everything in it. That was real easy to make. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button on it. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't. So we're going to talk to y'all on the next one. Adios. Mm -mm -mm.